Welcome everyone to this video tutorial. Today I'm going to show you how to download this Tron Link browser extension on your Google Chrome. Also, I'm going to show you where to go to buy Tron and I'm going to show you an example of a smart contract so you can earn Tron daily by contributing. So I'm going to just show you an example how to connect your Tron Link wallet to a smart contract. And this is just an example to show you step by step so first of all you need to go and come to this official website tronlink.org that's where you can actually download the google chrome extension tron t-r-o-n link l-i-n-k dot org o-r-g basically once you're there you'll click on browser extension for the computer of course you'll choose chrome web store which should open up that, and then you go hit Add to Chrome. Add extension. It's downloading. Should download at the bottom left. It's checking. All right, you can hit Turn on Sync. You can sync it to your, your email. If you don't, you can just leave it as it is. Okay, of course, if it's not showing the icon at the top of your Google Chrome browser, what you do is you click on the little puzzle piece, you hit the little pen icon, it'll show this blue and white symbol. That's the Tron Link wallet. All right, you're going to hit create wallet. And for those of you that already had a wallet, you can import it. You should have 12 C words. But for this video tutorial, you're going to hit create wallet. Go through the user agreement. All right, hit I agree. You name your wallet. I'm going to call this test one. Then I'm going to enter a password. Of course, make sure the password is the same. And please use a password that you normally can remember or and write all this information down. Please back this stuff up. Whatever you name your wallet. Write it down on a piece of paper, back it up, save it, don't lose it. But this is important. When you're recovering your wallets, you need to remember the wallet name and all that stuff. If you need to restore it or add it to another computer later on, something ever happened, you need to keep record of all of this stuff. Okay. So put in a password real quick. I'm going to hit create wallet. I'm going to hit back up the wallet. I'm going to enter my password again that I just created. I'm going to hit confirm. I'm going to hit back up. You'll hit back up. Now to view your phrases, it's going to have an order. It's going to have one behind each word. One, two, three. Basically, there's going to be a number behind each word from 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. So all the way to, from 1 to 12, that's, that's going to be how many C words you have. And each number is going to go behind each word so you know what order to put it in. Okay? So I'm going to hit view mnemonic phrase. Please keep in mind, back them 12C words up, never lose them. Make sure you put them in the correct order based on the number sequence of each word, okay? That's very important. Now, once you back it up, you can hit copy. You can um, save it somewhere, too. If you want to save it somewhere electronically, just make sure wherever you save it electronically, it got a lot of security features to help protect your account. That's very important. So now I'm going to click off the highlighted one of the word so it's asking me for the fourth word that I wrote down so I'm gonna actually click it and that it should take me through three of them um, with three different numbers so for this one I'm gonna hit the fourth word and keep going for my second number for me is seven so I gotta find my seventh word and click it finally it's asking me for my 11 it might ask you for a different number so make sure you just put in just click the word that is the 11 word you wrote down Okay, let's just say verify successful. Got it. Okay, so basically I got my words backed up and everything. Basically what you need to do is basically buy some Tron. That's the next step. 
So we're going to buy some Tron and we're going to send it here to this Tron link wallet. The website to go to buy Tron that I know of that I've been using for a while. And of course, they got other YouTube videos that's showing this type of stuff. Basically, you'll go to this website, buy.chainbits.com. B U Y dot chain c h a i n bits b i t s dot com. This is Simplex uh, site. Those of you that's familiar with Simplex, they they have been used through a lot of wallets uh, when it comes to buying cryptocurrency. So basically, you'll check off. I'm not a robot. You you click the images based on what they requesting you to click to verify. Your next step is to where it got the BTC at, you'll change that to TRX. That means Tron. It should show a Tron symbol like that. Then you will put the amount, the minimum that you could buy is $50 worth USD. So make sure you buy 50 or more dollars worth. For example, I'm going to just put 50. Now, for you, you might, if you join a certain smart contract, you may have to at least buy $100 worth of Tron. It all depends where you what, what you're joining, 100 or more dollars worth just to cover fees and stuff like that. So now the objective is to get the Tron receiving wallet address because you want to send funds to your Tron link wallet. So all you do is go back to your Tron link wallet at the top where it got the icon, the blue and white icon, hit the two square buttons beside your address. And always remember when you copy an copy address, always look at the first two numbers or letters and the last, the last two or three numbers of letters to make sure you copy the right address. Because any funds get lost, that's that's basically nothing. If it, if you send it to the wrong address, it's nothing that can be done to to recover. Once it's out, it's out. So always check your addresses to make sure you got the right address. Mine starts with 10 N Z ends with G T R. So that's what I should see in this address. That see that's so I know I copied it right. Then all I had to do is hit continue. And of course, you'll be redirected to actually put in your card information, stuff like that. And then once you go through that, if your card declines anything like that, it might be your bank. You might have to tell them to take the hold off and all that stuff. But if you continue to have issues, just try another card. And if you have any problems, just con you can chat with support down here at the bottom right. And they'll see what they can do to try to help you. Okay, once you buy your funds, your Tron should show up in your Tron link wallet right here, TRX. Once your funds is there, you can join an example smart contract of your choice. For example, of course, you have to get your referral link from your sponsor so you can paste their link in the top browser box. Then I'm going to hit, we're going to go to it real quick. It should, all right, y'all notice it's pulling up. Or extra box you gonna hit connect and basically it's asking to connect the wallet you just named just hit connect and then your next step is hit contribution but you want to contribute to the smart contract so just hit contribution it's you put the be to put the amount in the minimum contribution is 100 trx as you see so it all depends whatever you feel comfortable putting in a program uh, nobody can predict how long it can last. This is your this is your money. You contribute what you feel comfortable with. All right, then put that in. Then hit contribution. It's gonna take you through. It's gonna actually pull up your wallet, your Tron Link wallet. It's gonna ask you to approve. You'll see the fees and all that. Then you just approve it based on what you feel comfortable with. And then once you do all that, you come back to personal wallet. You you should start seeing earnings coming in every four seconds or five seconds. Just get familiar with the website in the back office, stuff like that. If you join this type of program, see what it's all about, see the levels. Uh, I know the main thing is your personal wallet. You can check the contract to see how much how much funds is there. Uh, most of the smart contracts have that type of stuff, so you can you can keep keep up with it. And this basically concludes this video. Um, if you have any issues, please contact support. As uh, far as with your finances and stuff like that um when it comes to simplex like chain bits you you know if you have issues just contact their support and this basically concludes this video thank you for watching